Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're going to mine the crust of Earth looking for rare minerals so we can make things and sell them for profits in a little game called Terraforge. Now, I have been scouring the Steam Next Fest for cool, unique demos that have come out. I guess I wouldn't say this one is truly unique. There is a lot of games in this vein. It does actually remind me of a lot of Turmoil, which is one of my favorite indie games of all time. Uh, but in this one, as I said, we are mining, and then we are using those resources to actually craft items and then sell them for a profit so you can get deeper into the game. Right now, I can't craft anything because I don't have any iron, so we're going to go out and try and get some of that. Uh, the goal right now is to get the tool upgrade building. That's how going to give us a lot more tools to use, and then there's also a mission building that uh, we can unlock as well. Not really sure what that's all about, but we got to get out there and look for some minerals. So it is daytime right now. As you can see, you license plots of land just like Turmoil. Again, I'm going to be comparing this a lot to Turmoil. Uh, just because of that, uh, I'm going to buy this $95 one only because l license day is one. I've been doing the free one and there is definitely not enough time to get a bunch of minerals. So I want to get some of this silver or whatever the silver ore is right now. And it looks like we're going to get a lot of that. Uh, so right now we have to choose where our mining entrance is going to be. I'm going to put it right beside this silver vein. Actually, I'm going to put it in between these two. And we are going to work our way over to that. So we have two different miners. One goes sideways and one goes down. We're going to put down two sideways miners. This is kind of like a light RTS. So uh, it is action based. And you have this energy meter here uh, that you use to put down your miners. So you definitely want to be using as many miners as possible. I'm seeing we have a little bit of ore here. So we're going to grab that as well. And we'll pick up all of our small ore. There's a lot of ore over here. So I kind of do want to make my way that way and see if we can get any of those veins i have three minutes and 20 seconds left uh for this mine site hopefully we can get this silver here i really need three silver right now if we get that i forget what it unlocks but i know it unlocks something important what is this glowing over here i'm very curious it's dark right now so it's hard to see this might be a relic i have one relic right now i would love to get another one and it looks like I did get it. And that is indeed a relic. Okay, so that's exciting. That's essentially a buff we'll get if we equip it. So we'll uh, check that out when we get back to our base. And we got this massive vein over here. So, so far, so good. I should probably continue to dig deeper as well. Looks like we have some silver here. This is a really good run. I haven't had any run close to this. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough energy to put out more miners, but I think that's pretty good. And as you can see, you can go quite deep at these starting plots of land. So we're still kind of on the surface here. I just don't have enough time and resources to get deeper. Uh, hopefully we can get this silver right here. All right, and that is it. Let me grab those real quick. And how do we do? We got 47 iron and wow, 21 silver. I, for this whole run, I've only gotten two silver. But again, I was using the free plots of land. So I guess it does pay uh, to get those plots of land that you have to uh, buy. Now, I'm going to go to the relics and see what this other one is. When a mining tool expires, it will explode. I've never had a mining tool expire. But that sounds fun. This one's pretty basic. It just uh, has a chance to collect the resources. I have to actually click the resources normally. Sometimes it just automatically collects them. Not that helpful. So uh, I'm very curious to see how these mining tools explode. Okay, and that's why I wanted the three silver. I wanted to get the uh, tool upgrade station. So I just need some coins right now. So we'll go to the smithy and see if we can make some of that. Actually, I think we should go out again. This is why I wanted the wood. Because uh, hammers only take five iron and one wood as compared to the iron ring, which takes ten iron, which is quite a bit. I have nine of these research papers as well. So I can research better weapons if I want to. So I think I will research the dagger um interesting i said it took wood i thought but it's only showing oh sorry that's the silver dagger i unlocked the iron dagger so i need 12 iron and one wood for that all right so let's go back out to a free plot real quick and just try and get some wood as well as uh iron oh crap i don't have any money though i didn't think about that all right so we'll just buy two for right now and yeah i'm just gonna do a quick mine at this very basic plot of land oh and okay so every time my miners expire they explode <laughs> that's what it means by tools feels kind of wrong calling miners tools but i guess technically they are all right and there we go with our free plot of land we got 18 iron that's pretty normal and the two wood that i bought so that should at least allow us to make a couple iron daggers all right i don't want to screw this up so there is like a little mini game that dictates the rarity so we'll see if we can do this okay so i gotta do it in the middle Try and get the legendary. I missed it. Okay, so oh, I gotta get the no. 
Oh, I just made a poor dagger. Okay, I was trying to get the legendaries. That was a bad idea. All right, let's not screw up the second one. A, E, F. Oh, I'm so slow. I am awful at typing, but this is much better, easier than the other one. We got a masterwork. That's as good as you can get. All right, and with that, we are going to upgrade the tool upgrades building. And now I can actually upgrade, it looks like my guys. I thought I was, oh, okay. So what, a worm locked? I need to unlock it for 25. What does that do? If you don't like worms, now you will. The worms can dig like nothing else, but don't try to control them. You just can't. I don't know what that means, game. All right, but here is all of our interesting upgrades. So we got a scanner. You can throw a magnet to collect ore. I don't know why. I mean, it's easy to click on ore, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. The only thing I can afford... Oh, I actually can't afford anything right now because I had to buy this. That's right. So let's go back to the smithy. We got 20 silver, so let's try and build this uh, silver dagger. And I already screwed up. I, I screwed up. <laughs> Pressing A. Okay, there we go. We got a, a, another masterwork. So that is 100 gold right there. And I'm going to make a couple iron rings just because I can. Okay, and not bad when I don't have to commentate. I have all masterwork rings here. So there we go. We got 164. Now I should actually be able to get a tool upgrade and a decent one, hopefully. So that's pretty cool. You can actually upgrade your tools, as they're called, which is our miners, as well as uh, obviously get new things. I'm very curious how this worm works. So we'll unlock that because it's cheap. And you know what? We have an enough to unlock the drill as well. So that's cheap as well. Now, before we waste money, let's just go to a free mine and see how these things work. All right. It's nighttime, unfortunately. So very hard to see right now. I'm just doing a test run right now. So let me see. Okay. Drill's probably just really fast. Whoa. Um, This is... I'm really glad I tested because I am drilling the wrong way. I think I got to drag it to the way I want to go. All right, worm. Do your thing, big guy. Do you just... Is, are, are you kind of the same as the drill, except you just go wherever you want? Uh, I think the worm might have been a waste of money. I don't think he's going to be that great. All right. The drill does seem nice, though. So, yeah, I, I can drill any way I want. I just got to direct it that way. Now, these are very small mining sizes, though. It does look like the worm might be going for ore, or is he just kind of doing his own thing? He does last forever, so it might be fun to just spawn a bunch of worms and see what they do. The drill definitely seems to be the better of the units, though. That's for sure. All right, we did worse that time, but that's okay. I was very much learning as we go, and uh, we got a little bit of iron at least. All right, just grinding away at the free worlds, just trying to get a bunch of iron so we can get some more upgrades. And honestly, the more I play with this, the more I like my starting miners. Like, I understand the benefit of the drill. You can uh, shoot it whatever way you want, but it's very slow, and the spread of it's very thin. Obviously, if I upgrade it, it might be pretty good. But I think I kind of want to just upgrade these starting miners right now after we unlock everything else and see what is truly useful in this game. I'm very curious about the sonar. Obviously, TNT will likely be very good as well, so I'm just trying to get a bunch of iron in the bank right now so we can uh, get some upgrades because they're actually really not that expensive. All right, and we gained 45 that run for a grand total of 112. One thing I was not doing is collecting the scraps at the top of the world. Very useful for getting iron very quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely do some more of that. I guess I didn't buy any wood though, but I don't have any money to buy wood. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one more run. I just want to craft a few of these so we, uh, can actually buy some trees. It's kind of weird you have to buy trees. I wonder if you can get some sort of axe later on or something. That would be nice. Oh my God, look at this one. This is crazy. And this is the things I'm talking about. They're $10 and I get 17 iron with that. Yes, please. I will gladly buy those. And already I've gained 34 iron this run. Uh, and... Oh, crap. I, I wanted wood, and I just spent all my money. Damn it. Ooh, what is that? I got another relic? I must be getting very lucky. What would the yin-yang give me? I feel like it's going to be a luck-based relic. I will gladly take it. That is my third relic. I believe there is five relics total in the demo, so I feel pretty damn lucky right now. All right, and another 54 that run. Man, it is so worth it to buy those uh, scrap plots. Okay, so I got to do this a day again just because I forgot to buy trees because I'm smart. And this time I get a grand total of two, two trees, but I guess that should be more than enough. Uh, eight should be fine. And I do have to play this, so we may as well go out and uh, dig deep. I'm, I'm going to try the worms this time and just let them do their thing. Maybe we can quickly find 
good pathways with the worms. Unfortunately, there is a cooldown, as you can see, though, so I don't think it's smart to just use one unit. All right, and after that run, we should actually be able to get some upgrades now, so I think I'm going to actually research this axe as well, just to see how much is that? Two and ten. Wow. So there's a question mark on how much this is worth until I make it. So I am going to make it once and we'll see if it is worth it over the other thing to make. Uh, I did do a masterful. It's worth 25. So with a, with a normal, of course, being that I had a masterwork, uh, I guess it's double. So I guess it would be smarter to make the iron axes uh, over anything else. We also got a silver axe. I'll research that just because I can. Diamond, we haven't even touched yet. There's quite a bit in this game, as you can see. All right, so yeah, I'm going to make as many iron axes as I possibly can, and hopefully we do... Oh, God. Hopefully I get decent ones. All right, and that worked out. Everyone was a masterwork. I just can't commentate. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we'll go back. Again, I don't want to upgrade my things yet. I want to unlock the rest of these, so we'll do TNT for sure. Um, And I think I kind of want scan. Ooh, detector. What's the difference between scan and detector? All right, so scan, you can essentially see where you click. And detector, have a hard time finding ore veins. The detector will mark where you should try. Definitely want that. This is so similar to turmoil. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to unlock scan as well. So I have everything but magnet unlocked now, but they're not upgraded at all. Do I have enough to go? No, I'm going to have to get some more money to go to some of the decent lands. Um, but yeah, this will be a good time to test out these things. So first of all, let's try detector. Wait, what's it doing? I'm so confused. Okay, so are those little dots what it's talking about? All right, so I think I understand it. It's not showing as much as I hoped for, but it should show now that we can't see anything down here. Yeah, you can see there's a nice vein right there. Okay, I get it. That's actually pretty helpful if you have nothing around you. So you at least kind of see where the decent ore is. All right, let's also try scan. So scan just does a certain area. And you can actually see that area now. All right, so I'm just looking for ore veins. Not having too much of a good time right now. Okay, we got a decent one down there. I don't have time to get down there, though. So, yeah, I need to go to some of the better lands because I just don't have enough time anymore. Uh, but we did okay there, all things considered. All right, I think I want to get the miner upgraded the most first. Delver's nice to go down, but being that you see the top crust of the soil at the start of the game, you can see a lot of veins early on. And anything that's going to go horizontal is going to help me out quite a bit. So I'm going to increase the size, increase the speed, and increase the distance. Uh, that has gives me 73 left. I think I will upgrade the Delver as well for speed. That's dirt cheap. And that should be good for right now. I really like how you upgrade each unit. This is going to be fun. I just wish I had more money so I can go to some of these better areas. But I'm trying to get good tools right now. All right. And this is what I'm talking about. Now you can see all these giant veins. It's going to be very easy for my miner to get over to those. I know exactly where I need to go. So we're going to do the miner first. Much bigger mining spread too so that's nice and we'll get this guy to go deeper nice and fast and then i'll just scan at the bottom if we, if we don't see anything there oh yeah i haven't used the freaking tnt yet i should probably try that out i don't see any giant veins right now though i think there was one down here let me actually just look and see if we can get the tnt oh two nice veins right there so perfect so i'll throw the tnt right here and now we're nice and close to it unfortunately we destroyed some of it though so i don't know how good that is so we'll dig out that i think that's some silver too nice so we got some silver on the free plot always nice to see and a giant iron vein as well so yeah the one thing i do like is the detector this thing is really nice aside from that though oh look at that vein there see i wouldn't have saw that if i didn't have the damn detector damn it Give me more time. I forgot to check my relic as well. So you can change your drill and worms direction once after placement. Pretty good. I guess that would definitely help out. But I think I'm going to keep with the current setup. Well, I don't mean to brag or anything. But look at me, Mr. Master Blacksmith here. The moment I talk, I'm probably going to screw up everything. But uh, yeah, I can't complain when I got... <laughs> seven master axes thank you very much i may as well just sell all there we go 368 that might be my best yet and i can still make a crap load of rings if i want to i think i'm good i'm way too lazy to do that i'd rather keep my iron for more tree cutting um i should also worry about this soon we still haven't unlocked gold though so i i need to spend money on different plots of land i just i can't stop upgrading these guys because it's so cheap all right, I definitely want to upgrade my detector. 180, though? Oh, God, that is ridiculous. I think we'll stay with just upgrading my simple miners because it's so cheap. So we can buy that. I'm going to buy that. 
All right, so we've upgraded them quite a bit. I got to go out and earn some more money, though. <laughs> and then maybe next time we'll actually try some of these better plots of land. Ah, so I just searched for new areas. Some of these aren't available in the demo version. I guess we can't get diamonds, so that's a bit of a bummer. Looks like the longest day is still one. I was hoping for something longer. I think we're going to buy this 309 just because it has gold as well. I really want to get some gold in the bank. Man, I hope this is worth it, though. This is literally all my money. Okay, so we got silver right on the surface. Not seeing any gold anywhere. Uh, I can't buy anything as well, so I don't get any wood for this run, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go right here, start mining this way to get this silver, but I got to find some gold. I'm assuming that's going to be deeper, so I'm going to head right down right away. We got four minutes to do this. Hopefully, I can get some gold in four minutes. I'm trying to go deep because I feel like that's where the gold's going to be, but I can't seem to find gold, damn it. Getting lots of silver, though, so I guess we can't complain. So we still have a minute, too, so we might be able to get it. And TNT's ready. Do I go here or do I go here? I think I'm going to go here. Ah, it is gold. Nice. I finally got some gold, baby. All right, we have so much we need to get right now, though. So what I'm going to try and do... Can I get this to mine this? Yes, yeah, so I can mine down that way. Wow, there's so much ore right now. I need more time. How much time do I have? I got 30 seconds left. Damn it. Damn you all. You don't give me enough time to mine out all this. All right, good. I got the energy boost, so I'm going to try and get some more with TNT... I wonder if a worm will be smart right now. There's a lot of ore right here. I think we got to go for more TNT. I want to get all that. Thank you. Sorry, my miner. I got too excited when I saw the gold. And TNT over here. Yes, please. I think I need to upgrade my TNT. I'm using it quite a bit. We got 100 iron that run, 27 silver, and 6 gold. Don't know if that's good or not, but I'm happy with that. That's by far my best run. And I think it was worth the $300 price tag to get there. All right, I've been hard at work making lots of things. Wow, 914, and I screwed up a lot of those too, so that was a bit embarrassing. I have almost nothing left, but I got 914 gold, so that means we are going to upgrade ourselves and go deeper as well. Let me actually, before I spend all my money, I went to the wrong place anyways, see how much some of these are going to cost. Like, some are 512 right now. I wish I had more time. I'm super scared with that, but I want better blueprints. I haven't been able to get any of the better blueprints. So I think we will buy that $512 one, see if it's worth it. But before that, I got to figure out what else I want to buy. Honestly, TNT blast, very expensive, but I think it's worth it to get that blast radius upgrade. Uh, so we spent $300 on that and we have basically no money left, but we're going to go out. Let me actually search for new licenses first. 512 seems a bit insane. Uh, like 360 would be better, but some of these are locked, as you can see. So I think we're going to do this $402 one and uh, hope for the best here. At least we should be able to get some gold. Please be a good plot of land. All right. Well, I'm seeing lots of things. Not much gold, though. And by not much, I mean none. So we'll head to the surface here. Definitely start collecting all this crap. But we got to go deeper as well. So before we do anything, let's put those guys out. We'll detect, see if we see any giant veins. So we know where to dig down. And there is a decent one right there. So we're going to dig right here and then connect over to that one later on. All right. All I really care about right now is blueprints. I really want some decent blueprints. So hopefully we can find some of them. Obviously, some gold and silver would be nice as well because they're worth a crap load. All right. Fortunately, I think this is just a giant iron vein. But hey, it's better than nothing. And the deeper we go, the better chance for gold. I think that's gold right there. I'm too excited to find out. And we did get our first piece of gold. Nice. All right, we got a giant vein over here, too. So how much time do I got? I got a minute left. I might be able to get over to that one. If not, that's okay. That looks like gold right there, possibly. Please be gold. I'm going to dig down from here. Oh, I think that's all gold. Oh, I found the gold vein. The mother load of gold veins. Thank God. Okay, get this quick. Get it quick. Other way. Mine it all, buddy. Mine it all. Um, Man, I wish I could get more energy somehow. There we go. I got a blue one. Finally. Okay, and I'm just going to explode here. I was hoping for a little bit more there, but that's okay. All right, and I just got so much with that TNT. Okay, I do really like TNT now. TNT has been really nice to me. Do I have enough time for more TNT? Two seconds. <laughs> grab it, grab it. Oh, I missed one. That's okay. I think we did pretty good. Uh, 11 gold and 28 silver, and I thought I got two of the rares. Am I crazy? So hopefully we can upgrade to one of these because I think it only takes one blueprint. Of course it takes two. Screw you! All right, but we can actually make our gold axe for the first time. I'm actually shaking with how expensive this thing is to make. I really hope I don't... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Oh, no! I, I went for it. I went for it, and I royally screwed up. Oh, that was a common. I shouldn't have went for the hard part. Oh, God, I hate that one. I wish it was the typing one. Oh, would you look at that? I got a very lucky number of gold. So I keep forgetting I should probably unlock the missions upgrade now. I need 20 silver for that, though. I'm very curious about this. So I think that's going to be our next goal. We're going to have to spend some money to get that, though. I need to get more gold. Jesus, 1,120. Oh, that's the first two-day mining spree. I don't have enough money for that, but that would have been nice. It's nice to see that they are out there, though. Oh, no. Relic. Oh, I got seven seconds. Oh. Oh! Did I get it? Oh, my God. I got it. two seconds left. Oh, I gotta grab my iron. Okay, who cares? I got 144 iron that run. Didn't do good for silver or gold, unfortunately, though. But I did get the relic. Your worm will detect resources in a small radius. That kind of changes the usefulness of worm. All right, so all that does is kind of work like the sonar, except around the worm, which actually is quite decent. Um, But yeah, it still kind of has a mind of its own. But yeah, I definitely, as you can see, it has quite a big radius around it. So super easy for finding... Decently sized ore nodes. Oh, another blueprint shard. Yes, I finally got my second one. Okay, so at least I can up upgrade my smithy. And I got... Is that another one? Oh, no, that was uh, an energy boost. No, still good. But yeah, at least I can upgrade my smithy to get rarer uh, tools made now. All right, so that has allowed me to unlock an actual iron item, which is great because I have, as you can see, a crap load of iron. So we're going to research that. And that is our first rare item. Oh, it only takes two. I thought it would take a lot of wood, too. It takes 23 iron, though. So this is great. Ooh, this is uh, what you want with this. So you can hit the legendary every now and then. And there we go. We got a masterwork. So if we do it perfectly, we get 100 for iron. That is super cheap. Oh, that is a huge upgrade. Really glad I got that blueprint. Okay, that has finally given me everything that I need to unlock missions. So we'll see what that's all about. All right, so essentially it's just benefits as you play. So worm 20 times, collect 50 iron. We'll definitely do that one. That's going to be easy. Unfortunately, all the rest are canceled in the demo. So I guess we have to be using the worm quite a bit because that's actually really nice. All right, and pretty interesting one here. We have a two-day license for 655. I have just enough money. No silver here, but there is gold, so we might be able to get the mother load of all golds. Uh, having two days is going to be fantastic. All right, so starting is looking pretty crap, but we have a very deep crust here, so we'll see if we go into that second tier of bedrock, or I guess technically third tier. Uh, we'll see what's there. So I'm just going to dig down as quickly as I possibly can. Obviously, while well, searching around and utilizing my worm, because I have to use worms now. Um, and seeing what we can find. I'm starting to think this might be a dead plot of land. Look at the, look at how dead this earth, this earth is. Is there anything? Oh, there's actually a nice node right there. That was lucky. All right. Maybe it's not as dead as I thought. If I don't get gold, though, I am screwed. I do not need iron right now. I need lots and lots of gold. And I'm not finding one node of it. All right, and we're officially at the bottom. I can't go any deeper. Once this guy hits the bottom, we have dug all the way to the deepest that we can. So we'll explore around here. It seems like this is kind of the area where this miner is, uh, where the gold could possibly be. I don't know if there's much in the bedrock here, but I am going to search for veins down below. All right, we got a nice vein there. So we'll dig down this way and get my worm just kind of going out this way, seeing if he can find any veins as well. Well, we're not finding anything over there, so we're going to keep going to the right then. There's some gold here. Come on, give me it. Thank you. Finally, some gold. And that's a big, big piece of gold, so we're going to use the TNT for that. Seems like we gain a bigger yield with the TNT, too, so that's pretty cool. And, oh, is this all gold? I think this is all gold right here. Oh, my God. Yes, finally, we have hit the big veins of gold, and it's right at the bottom, as I assumed. Okay, and we're starting to run out of time, so I'm just going to collect some iron here uh, using my TNT. And, oh, look at that. Talk about the dream. Blueprint at the end. Why can't I grab those? Let me grab them. Thank you. And not bad for my first two-day mine. 226 iron, 18 gold. Yes, please. All right, and we definitely completed the iron reward, so we'll get that. And we only used 13 out of the 20 worms. All right, so let's try again for the hard one. Hopefully this time I don't screw it up. I, I'm screwing it up. I'm screwing... I, okay. <laughs> I wanted to end off on a high note. I just made a pour with all that gold I worked on. 
On that wonderful blade, we're going to wrap up this episode of Terra Forge here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the demo for this game. Uh, definitely do love it. Very addictive gameplay. Uh, obviously needs a little bit of polish, but again, this is the demo, so do not judge it just yet. I'm really enjoying myself, and uh, yeah, I'll be checking it out again when the game does come out later in probably 2024 at this point, I would assume. So yeah, if you want to know anything more about it, I'll have links in the top of the video description. And yeah, thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Get the frick out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god. <laughs>